Welcome to a new episode of our weekly series, COVID-19 Science in Context. Today, the REACT study published their 14th report. I'm Sabina and joining me today from the REACT study is Professor Crystal Donnelly. Welcome. Crystal, what is the REACT study? The REACT study is a set of surveys that happen often monthly. It's a survey where we send out swabs to the participants. They swab themselves and send them back to the lab for testing. And it gives us an indication of what parts of the population are more or less likely to be infected and also what trends we see over the period of the study. And what are the main findings of this current report? We were mainly focusing on data from September 2021. And what we found was overall the population had relatively stable levels of infection. The reproduction number we estimated was just over 1, 1.03. But when we unpack that, we found the most infections in those under 18 years of age. So for people participating, that's five to 17. And they had a reproduction number almost 1.2. The next age group, 18 to 54, it was declining with an R of 0.8. So we see different things in different age groups. The study also looked at vaccine effectiveness. What did you find? For those that had had two doses each, protection between 62 and 66%. So they're really doing a good job of protecting people from breakthrough infections. But more importantly, and this is going outside of our study, but I want to emphasize it, is how these vaccines protect us against severe disease, so potentially being hospitalized or even the risk of dying. And why is the rollout of booster vaccinations and vaccinations for 12 to 17 year olds so important? Well, in terms of the booster, one of the things that we were able to look at is how long it's been since a person received their second dose. And so those that had received their second dose less than three months ago, were more protected than those that had gone three to six months since their second dose. The booster dose will then make them more protected again. For children, as I've mentioned, we saw quite a lot of transmission there. So bringing in vaccines for those children aged 12 and older will help protect them from infection, which both can reduce the risk that they have to miss time from school and also potentially protect those who are in contact with them both at home and elsewhere. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.